Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy, not locks, not nation. Today I'm reacting to lovely Mimi's video of her boyfriend combing out 15 years of locks growth into Wix by none other than your boy Val Tough Cuts out of Florida. So, you know, without further ado, I want to jump into this video. If you haven't already liked this video down below, let's get this thing to 10,000 likes. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Not Nation, and we do dreadlock related content on the daily. Let's go. Let's see what Mimi is saying today. Hi, YouTube family. So today we just flew in from California to Miami, and then we drove around and we made it to Pahokee. 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 Do the hokey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's full of life. She's full of energy. She's here with none other, none other than Val. So, I've been following somebody on um, <clears throat> Instagram, Val Cuts. Yeah, tough cuts. Tough cuts. Ta da! This is Val Ta Tough Cuts, and look at his locks. They're freaking long. They're super long himself. Jeez. He's got those wicks put in. I wonder if that's all his hair, or if he's used extensions to get his locks that long. Crazy. All I see is his hands. I'm like, is this boy or girl? Anyway, Lock Wick Specialist here in Florida. Lock Wick Specialist. Yeah, he's got some mad lengthy locks. Holy shit. I didn't, know, I didn't even realize that he had dreadlocks himself. Florida, amazing, amazing work, Val. Um, senior work, senior transformation. I was like, okay, we have to pull up. We have to come all the way out here. Don't be specialized. Yes. That's a lot of injury. I was, I was looking. I was straight like, Straight hair, little nappy. I can knock anything up. Yes. You got straight hair, pinky um, hair, straight curly nappy. Anything up. Anything. Yes. You got straight. So I can, I can tell by the integrity of his locks here that they're, they're those light and fluffy wicks. There is a difference in how mature dreads and wicks will feel. And wicks definitely feel a lot lighter. Straight hair, kinky um, hair, straight amazing. curly nappy. Amazing. And, and like no rubber bands, no, no threads. Nothing. Seems to be the ongoing promotion in Florida. No rubber bands, no threads. Essentially people just using crochet hooks out there to make these wicks happen. Uh, I'm very interested to see here how Val moves about with these 15 year old locks to see how this transformation comes into play part them and combine them using what is it no Pick, band. Oh, no crochet, needle. crochet needle crochet i started googling and shit so let's take a look at the integrity of his locks right now to see how they look and the, I, i'm just guessing the way that they would feel by the density of how they look and how they're dropping right now you can see that some of these locks are coming in super flat definitely have been free formed for 15 years and what it looks like is that you know they look fine actually they look like they're really healthy they look like a little bit dry towards the scalp but damn 15 years of hair growth here this is insane dedication now i wonder what it is that made him want to go about this transformation look at this the locks are actually down to the freaking floor that is insane these are hair goals right here so now they're removing the threads because you know back in the days we used to save dreads by threading it up we don't have to do that anymore wow okay so this guy has wrapped his hair in some threads over the years. It looks like to maybe combine them together at some point, but now there's going to be a lot of time spent taking this thread out of the hair, cutting it out. Look, teamwork went through dream work. Look at y'all. And what I was surprised about watching this video was the team that he has assembled to put work into people's hair i've never seen a loctician use a team of people to do dreadlocks mm -hmm. go see some dreads where to next jacksonville <laughs> <laughs> i 
Oh, yeah. So we can see that there's lots of thread in there. And that's the thing is like when thread is left in the locks like this, they start to mend and become one with the lock over time. So, you know, as, as fun as it might look to keep thread in your hair and all that, it is good to change it out every so often. Let the dreadlock breathe and then re-thread them again so you, you don't have the same old gunky thread in your hair that potentially could hold moisture, hold build up underneath those threads. So it is important to change them. No, you've been you've been showing up on explore page everywhere. Yeah, no, that's a good thing I noticed. Mm-hmm. It's a shocker when everybody come in, see how my dude. Yeah, because we came all the way from California. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you were down here for some reason. I don't know why you thought it was crazy, crazy length. So just skipping forward a little bit, let's see what we can find here in terms of action. So yeah, the thread in here originally was to, to wick up and combine the locks into thicker pieces. And now we can see I'm using a razor blade to take the thread apart. Now this part is interesting because for all the thread that was used to combine this lock, once we notice that the thread is taken out, the lock is not is yet not to be combined. It's still two separate dreads underneath the thread. So does threading really work and rubber bands really work in bending them together over time? Or is it just an illusion of an effect? For real, think about it. They've been, they've been having it for 10 years and then they were just about to cut it off and then they found him. Yeah, but going to you was like plastic surgery. I was like, it's like getting your boobs done. It's like paying for your boobs. So this is kind of like, I would say this was a Congo at one point, and he's trying to seal up the split tails at the end. Uh, just notice all the work that's got to be put into this now. And I can only imagine how much this costs. Leave a, leave a comment down below how much you think this whole procedure cost the man. My bet is fifteen hundred dollars. What nationality? Uh huh. Mexican. What did you say? Mexican. 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 Chico boys. Okay. It's a lot of Mexicans in California too. <laughs> Crazy. <gasps> yeah. So everybody's helping. Everybody's helping take out these threads. Too much thread in the dreads, in my opinion. Putting this much thread in the dreadlocks and keeping it in for years and years can only lead up to unwanted buildup. I'm interested to see what it looks like inside uh, because <clears throat> I would think that it would be hard to wash and dry dreadlocks of this length in general. So here's a shot of him standing up. Dread super long. Oh my god, these are like Damian Marley length. Right down to his calf. That is crazy. And then check out the new growth on his head. Seems to be a lot of frizzy hair going on. And looks like a hat has been worn quite a bit. Like it's a lot flatter up here than the volume at the back. It's a very interesting hairdo this guy's got going on I'm interested to see how they clean up the roots right on the on his scalp jeez <laughs> these locks are as long as are taller than her <laughs> oh my god look at all this thread and all this hair that they've chopped out that is crazy to see how much they've they've let loose on this guy's head. So the next process here is a deep cleanse wash. Mm -hmm. Getting a nice lather in there. Crazy, crazy face tats on this guy. 
His dreads looking a lot lighter in color. She's even helping wash in as well. Um, <clears throat> again, notice while washing long locks, like scrubbing like this, I find it like I don't know if it's counterproductive or not to scrub in the shampoo like that because it's going to be hard to get it out after. Um, I find just deep cleansing apple cider vinegar and baking soda to be the best way to really wash them because look, even after that wash, it looks like he's still got a lot of buildup in his scalp. There's little white issues here, some caking a little bit right here as well. So I'm interested to see what is done about this because that deep cleanse there would really help lift this out. And at this point I'm guessing his hair is still wet. You can see him going in to do some parting. Scissoring still. I'm just gonna keep the audio off on my reactions. It's always easier just to do some commentary overneath the video. So here we see him separating some locks out. He's twisting them together, I guess, to see which ones he wants to wick up. where this process takes him right now he's just sorting through seeing what sort of sections he can create ouch They're using scissors to separate here okay I mean, scissors are a real easy go-to for separation. I always feel a little bit guilty using scissors. So let's just see where this goes. I'm still wondering, what is this buildup in his hair still? Is it still shampoo that they've left in there? Why is it kind of white and cakey on a lot of these locks? Hours of operation for Val Tough Cuts, Tuesday through Saturday. Five hours a day. Not bad. Val Tough Cuts on Instagram. There's his number if you guys are interested in talking to Val. Let's see what's up. He's becoming quite the known figure here on YouTube and Instagram. Okay, here's where the action is. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh. Why does this hurt? Why does this hurt me to see this? And the picking begins. That's where the arts start. Tick, 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 tick. I'm confused here. Where the arts start. Tick, 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 tick. The man is jabbing the dread. Jabbing it like this. Jab, 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 jab. Essentially, just ripping everything inside and outside the lock to, together to form this new wick. I've been told that jabbing forcefully like this is not the correct way to crochet. When I did my wick myself right here, that's what I had done. I was essentially just jabbing my lock the whole time and that's what changed the integrity of it a lot of people saying that I did it too rough and you break up hairs when you do that and on the same note this is a real easy recipe to jab yourself in the finger and start bleeding really easy to do this so it's, you got to be careful he's wearing a glove so that doesn't happen but like that's crazy how he's just got everybody double hooked, triple hooked, jabbing away to get this done. What? Oh, bro, really? 
Don't let it go in the glue. Oh, it's a part of the glue. That's crazy to me. That is crazy. Like, locticians, locticians watching this right now. I want to hear your input. I want to hear your input on this procedure and if this would be considered like proper or not. I don't know. You know, I'm not a loctician. I just grow freeform locks um, and I just learn from what I see here on the interwebs. But this procedure in itself, is it damaging or is it beneficial to the hair growth and the structure and the integrity and the strength of the locks? Just let me know in the comments below, please. You know who I'm talking to here? I'm talking to Val. I'm talking to Krissa, Dreadlocks OXO. I'm talking to Chris McDread. I'm talking to Gunther out there. People, please let me know. Okay, okay. Yeah, Val's putting me to work. So Val's got Mimi going into work here too. Everybody just jabbing up as hard as they can. Crazy. Crazy. So she was essentially just jabbing here for the next uh, five minutes. What is it? Quiz. This dude's got some pretty sick locks going on here himself. Quiz. Hey, Quiz. So. Quiz always be getting right to work. Look at him. Professional fingers. Mm -hmm. Everybody's at work you here. Fast. Yeah, gotta be. Not as bad. Essentially, just combining two to four locks at a time. And just, just, just ripping it together here. This isn't a twist and rip. This is just called the pull and rip. Crazy. So you can see how it's changing it from solid locks to kind of this big fluffier dread, making one big dreadlock. I'm interest, interested to see how they fix the frizzy hair afterwards. It's gonna be pretty dope to understand that. I have a feeling that this procedure will also shrink in his hair a little bit considering they were all the way down to his calf before this. Let's see what happens with the length afterwards. So a little bit, oh. So looking at dude's shirt you can see a lot of hair that has been uh, shedded from his head already all right y'all now is the tightening part you see so they are doing a tightening procedure after and then we're gonna do the roots they've been working I wonder how many hours this has been so far to put in all the work here. Crazy to see so much crochet action all at the same time. This tightens it up. What was that? Just by uh, squeezing it like that, they said it's tightened up? This guy's got the triple crochet hook going on. He's got the single one now to use as a tightener. Doesn't look like anyone's kind of being careful with the crochet hooks at all. Definitely the longest wicks I've ever seen produced. The work. All right, now they're going into the scalp sectioning again. He's blow drying some of these locks now as well. I guess they've been doing this with his hair moist. Maybe uh, after that wash, his hair is still wet, still had a little bit of product in there of some sort, but now he's sitting there blow drying his hair. Still 
sectioning out his hair. So we're going to see what happens here at the root. No thread, no rubber bands. This is where we're going to see the magic happen. He's taken in, first he's sectioning, and then he's going to take in all the loose hair somehow and like kind of twist it into each lock. I have a feeling it was kind of a conditioner that they left in his hair during this process. Oh, so he does put the rubber band on. Okay. And then the rubber band. What's going on with the rubber band here? How do they, what do they do until they take that rubber band out? This is what I'm trying to understand. What is he going to do to get that rubber band out? Because they do mention no threads, no rubber bands, no threads. But I just saw a rubber band be put in there. What? Still with the crochet hooks, still tightening up everything. I don't think he's going to show us what he does after the rubber band gets put in there, to be honest. But he is rubber banding all the roots together with all the, the, the loose hairs, with all the frizzy hair. And I have a feeling he does like some sort of twist to keep them at the roots. Unless he's used a gel to hold in place the frizzy hairs with the rubber band until he takes that rubber band out. But this is literally, literally the most in-depth video of Val doing a hair transformation. So it's very interesting to see this procedure with 100% transparency. A lot of locticians don't like to show their work, but in the age of 2021, information is abundant and you can kind of find information free anywhere now, so there is no need to hide your skill set. Let people know and let people understand. People will still come back to you because you are the professional. Another rubber band here going in. Double looping it. One more time with the triple loop. Okay, so that's a tight, that's a tight bounded section right there. Okay. Essentially, he's going to keep on doing this. And what happens after the fact? Okay, so here is here is the finished result. Let's see this finale here. Alright guys, the finished part. Stand up, babe. Looks like the rubber bands have been taken out here. It also looks like he didn't show us the final procedure of the rubber bands. Ooh. So they did shrink a little bit, maybe three to four inches. They shrank. Shout out to Val. Make sure y'all check out. They definitely thickened up. He took the numbers down quite a bit. Um, I wonder how many locks he has now compared to at the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like he's under 20 dreads at this point. 
and that's it that's the end of it so under closer inspection I'm just trying to figure out what happened after the rubber bands got put in because here it looks like there's no rubber band here it looks like this area has been crocheted with the loose hair um, I can't tell if there's rubber bands like here and here still it's really hard to, to tell like if there's rubber bands still on, on the roots maybe the rubber bands were just in there to secure them while the hair dried back up but I guess he does hide his work a little bit um, notice the big sections pretty cool it's a pretty cool turnout so I guess um, this is the before right I mean this is the after here sorry pardon me that is the after and and this is the before so personally I feel that the look and the structure of these dreadlocks looked better than the end I will say that the scalp does look pretty clean and you know sectioned off afterwards in a really cool way that I can understand why a lot of people will like it because it does give that cleaner look more presentable I guess than having this here but I don't feel that Spending that much money to have the scalp essentially cleaned up is like really essential, right? I mean, it's all personal preference at this point. Um, I feel like there's still ways to make this look cleaner without going through that whole process. So, but you know, in, in general, I'm sure he's really happy with the outcome, with the results of his locks. And I'm definitely super impressed and super stoked to have been able to uh, react to this. So shout out to everybody that had sent me this video in my DMs to react to because it's always intriguing seeing the process that these locticians take, especially with Wix these days. So that's about it for me today. But I'm going to end this video here. I appreciate you guys watching it. And I'll see you guys next time. If you're new to this channel, my name is Not Locks. This is Not Nation. And welcome to the Dreadlock family. If you haven't subscribed already, we are here to help everybody with their Dreadlock um, knowledge and participation and engagement within the community. And um, if you guys haven't already, check out the links down below. I do have some merch for sale in the two links for the... I do have merch for sale links in the description below for two stores, one for Tams and the other one is for merch that I have personally like hats and shirts um, and vaporizers and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, that's about it. My spiel is over. So until tomorrow, peace out, one love, so happy and natty. I'm gone. Adios.